welcome back to the channel by request today we're going to be taking a look at the bugs 3 mini or the Esheen ex2 mini and how to get some more range out of this guy i had uh, one of the viewers ask if uh if it was possible to do an external antenna on the transmitter of course it is i've done it before with my bugs 3 i've done it with the bugs 2 you can do it with pretty much any transmitter you want I uh, said if I had the parts laying around, I would do it. Well, I've got the parts laying around. We've got the external antenna right there, the little antenna connector there. So we're going to show you how to solder this in. But before we get to that, we've got some stickers on the channel, as you can see on the bench right here, guys. Fern Solo, some awesome stickers you sent me there, buddy. We're going to be uh, putting you up on the toolbox here. And then since you sent me uh, more than one sticker, we're going to have to get you on the cooler as well. So, Fern Solo, we're going to get you up here. We may have to uh, move the retro screen here momentarily. And by the way, Fern Solo is exclusively playing on the retro screen during this video. We'll get that back in the shot here in a minute. And let's see. We're going to put you right, uh, right over this ugly guy here. Fern Solo, thanks, buddy. Appreciate the stickers. Awesome looking decal there. Just make sure we're on there nicely. We want that thing to look sweet in the videos for sure all right there we go fern solo is now on the bench there we're gonna get your video back up there and playing and we got to pull in the rc cooler guys here can't wait to get this out this summer we've got several tackles on it already several channels of sent stickers out bunch on the top there so where are we going to put uh, Fern Solo's decal here? I think we're going to put them. We're going to find a spot here, right here. I think that's going to be the spot right on the corner there. So I'm going to get that on. I may have to apply some uh, heat to it later, but uh, we'll stick it on for now and keep an eye out for it. On the next video summer's getting close so we're gonna be having the RC cooler out for some action for sure this summer nice fit that's awesome it's gonna be a great sticker on the cooler here that's where it's gonna be right there guys looking sweet on the cooler fern solo thanks buddy appreciate you sending out those stickers Again. I've got the batteries on charge. These are the, we're about to charge them actually, so we can get over a test run. I'm gonna be using the stock batteries for my test run. You can see here, that is the stock charging adapter, but I've got it plugged into a balance board here, and we're balance charging them. You guys wanna see how to make yourselves up some custom cables here to use with a balance charger instead of that crappy USB charger that comes with it. I'll uh, leave a card above for that. So I'm just gonna get this started here. And that way, uh, by the time I'm done filming the mod here, we'll be able to uh, take it out right away and test it. Okay, so we've got the transmitter here. We've got to take it apart. Looks like four screws take it apart. So let's quickly get that apart here and see what we're dealing with on the inside. So we're going to start right away. First thing I usually do is let's get rid of these uh, battery cables. They're just getting in the way anyways. And if you look inside, you can see that's our positive. If we're looking inside, right where that little uh, clip was, positive and our negative should be right here. Easy to tell, it's not really marked out on the back of the case, but look inside, just matches up with what's inside. That is our antenna right there. And it is mounted back in here. So they just got it hot glued in there. We can just probably pry it out. There we go. So there's our antenna right there. That's what's in there. We're going to get rid of that. We've got to get rid of this uh, white silicone here though. Always have that white silicone on. Can usually uh, just take a little uh, knife here and kind of just cut it off not a big deal I got a close look at it I'm not sure if you guys can see it on that camera or not 
it looks like our positive is going to be our center and our negative is going to be the outer. And if we were to, uh, you could also use that outer pad there as your uh, negative as well. So we'll show you what a positive and negative here is here in a moment. So our positive is on the center. We're going to see if we can get some heat on it and get that, uh, get that out of there. So I just took that outer one out. Just want to verify that is indeed my negative. Yeah, it is. And then our positive of the antenna is our center here. There we go. Pulling the antenna now. It's been a while since I've done an instructional video like this. So you have your antenna. Your positive is actually in this antenna is your pin. And then your negative is actually the outer part. So keeping this as long as possible, we're going to just clip off the little end here. And get rid of that. We don't need it. And we need to strip the outer black uh, sheathing here. Now, sometimes it's nice to have a, a lighter handy, and you'll see why in a sec. Well, we're gonna just try to pull it off. And the longer, you can get short ones, you can get long ones, the longer you get, the better, in my opinion, because it's not easy to uh, be stripping these wires. Okay, so you see that little, and I'll show you on this camera as well, that little clear tube right there that's your positive and there's a wire inside there your sheathing your braided wire on the outside here that's your negative so we're going to expose some more of that negative now we're going to pull that black sheathing back a, a little ways don't worry about the positive yet okay So here's here's how I've done it. Now, I've, like I said, I've done it a few times. I'd like to pull a little bit more of that black off, though, just to have a little bit more, a uh, little bit more negative to work with. There we go. All right. So I take all that outer braided wire and I twist it together. Getting rid of some of that excess sheathing that's hanging on there. There we go. Okay. So now we've separated our positive and our negative. We still are encased within that clear tubing there is our positive, but we'll leave that for a moment. Bring in some flux. We're just gonna dip it in there. Get a little solder on the iron. And we're going to tin it. All right, so now we've got the negative tinned. So the positive now, we have to expose that. This is the hard part. I've uh, started doing this with a lighter. And you can see that clear tubing kind of just melts away. Then I just use my thumb and I expose it. Now you don't want to take it off all the way. I'm still about a quarter inch or so of clear tubing there. Because you do want something separating it from the from the negative. All right. Got a, roughly a quarter inch of uh, of the sheathing still left, separating the negative braided wire from the positive. And I'm dipping that in the flux again. We're going to tin that uh, that positive lead. Don't leave it on there for too long, the soldering iron, or else you'll uh, you'll burn through that. So just one more time, just to make sure. There we go. We are tinned. We should be good now to solder it to the board here. All right. You can see, we got that positive on there now. And before we do anything else, we're gonna position that negative, and it will be. Uh, trimming the excess off. So I did that positive first because it's actually the more fragile of the two. And I'm just getting that negative part in there now. There we go. That 
part's done. Not the prettiest, but it'll so work. We took that antenna here that we, uh, or external antenna. We cut the connector off, we stripped it back. We used the braided line and uh, we uh, twisted that all together. That's our negative. The center line, we had to strip back some of the sheathing there. It had some clear sheathing on there and uh, soldered that to the center. We soldered the braided line to the outside here, which was our negative. That's how the original one was uh, set up. Now we're gonna just throw a little bit of hot glue on there to secure those connections. And then we can uh, look at where we're gonna mount this antenna. So hot glue gun, we're going to uh, get it right on top there. And this is just in place of the silicone that was on there before. It's like that, we'll let that. So where are we gonna put this? These antennas, they're fake, they do nothing. They're just there for show. So I'm thinking what we can do is maybe we'll remove this one and we'll have i uh, I'm not sure how, uh, it looks like they just pop out or something. There's a little, yeah, like that. Oh, there we go. The whole thing pops out as one there. So let's just put this aside, let that dry a little bit, let that hot glue harden up. And I think what we're gonna do is we'll mount it uh, maybe in place of this fake antenna. We just see how this comes apart here. It looks like we're just going to squeeze this. And it should come out possibly. Not, not, let's see, come on. All right, is that coming out? All right, well that popped out, okay. We're going to cut this flush, well somewhat flush, we'll cut it down a bit because we're going to need some room for that antenna. We'll take the nut off there, I think, yeah see we're not going to be able to make it work like that. So we'll have to, uh, we'll cut this flush, we may even have to make ourselves up a, a little bit of a washer to hold it in there properly but it's not a big deal. So. I'm going to, actually I've already got it set up here, I always keep my Dremel nearby. Got a zip blade on there, we'll just cut that flush now. Now, I'm just going to clean out some of that plastic that's in the way there. Let's see, stick that through. Actually I'm not, I don't think we need a washer. We should be good. That, get our little uh, nut out here. That's why I had that in the drawer here, huh? All right. I'm just gonna put the pliers on the other side to hold it. Might as well just pop this in the place right away. There we go. I'm gonna take this, we're just gonna tuck it in, get it out of the way. Is attached. Let's get the positive lead attached. We'll flip the back cover back in place here. Make sure that everything is still looking good once it's back together and we'll fire it up quickly. Got the transmitter back together now. Check it out right there. Nicely placed right on top is our external antenna. Uh, like I said, I've done this to a few other uh, transmitters. We had some cards pop up throughout the video, done it to a little whoop here, a little mini drone. Greatly increased the range with that one with that external antenna on there. Bugs 3 here, there it is right there. We've done it to that one. We've done it to the Bugs 2. I've done it to a few uh, few different transmitters. It's a great, uh, 
it's a great mod and you can do this mod pretty much to any transmitter that has an internal antenna you can add an external antenna to it and you'll uh, you'll notice a difference so before we power this up and make sure the transmitter is uh, powering on we uh, screw on that antenna so we don't overheat the internals power it on there we go red lights on I took the beeper out of this because there was no sense in having a beeper in this transmitter and in the drone and it's loud and annoying so I took it out some time ago but anyways guys we're gonna leave it at that for right now we're gonna get out test it out featured on the retro screen today like I said was Fern Solo thanks for the stickers buddy check them out guys uh, let them know Van City sent you over it's got some great uh, RC action as you've seen on the retro screen today you won't be disappointed all right let's get out to the field we got our external antenna mounted to the transmitter of the EX2 I'm gonna turn it sideways like so it's gonna be our uh, best uh, connection or best uh, reception with the antenna in that position we're gonna just cruise around here we got a wide open field here to do this testing and uh, see how it does we got the EX2 Mini, we're going to plug in the battery, stock batteries, put it down on the landing pad there. Turn on the transmitter, up, down, calibrate it, and we should be good to go. It is a little bit windy, I'm going to put it in high rate, and hopefully I don't have to go chasing it. The grass is a little wet, a little long. But well, you can see we're getting some good distance. I'm keeping a little bit up in the air there so we can uh, kind of keep it in view. I've had some range issues with this and I, I don't remember who asked me, but I uh, did have a viewer ask me about uh, adding an external antenna. And uh, I said, yeah, no problem. As long as I have the parts, I wasn't gonna order them in for it. I've had some issues with range. I've had it drop out of the sky a couple times on me and that's honestly probably the furthest I've taken it. Just what I did there. I've taken it, uh, I, I can't tell you, 100 plus meters and I've had it fall out of the sky. Just losing connection and we're definitely going further than that here. We are quite a ways out there and we've got perfect control of it. No issues at all. So I would say this uh, external antenna is definitely uh, doing the job, giving us a stronger uh, connection to the drone. Now I was in low speed, let's put in high speed and have a little fun with it while we're out here. It's been a while since I've flown this drone, last summer I think. LVC has kicked in. This is uh, not surprising. The batteries are a bit old. But not a big deal. We were here to test out the range and I think we proved that the range is definitely uh, definitely good with this external antenna. Now I did take that beeper as I mentioned in the video off of uh, or out of the transmitter previously can hear it quite clear on the drone we do get a little bit of a warning before we uh, do have to bring it in LVC is uh, remember is decently long on this drone guys well I think we're gonna bring it in I've got another pack to uh, fly here before I head out but uh, check it out there the, bring it down onto the 
perfect landing right there. We'll get that uh, battery out of there so we don't have to listen to that annoying beep anymore. But there we go guys, external antenna mounted into the Isheen EX2 Mini or the Bugs 3 Mini transmitter. Like I said, this, uh, this mod will work with pretty much any transmitter that has an internal uh, antenna. You want to put an external antenna, get yourself some better range, a better uh, connection to the drone. You will uh, definitely uh, won't be disappointed. But uh, anyways, guys, for right now, we're going to leave it at that. If you like this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel, really appreciate it. Hit that subscribe button before you head out. And remember, don't be a stranger. We'll see you on the next one. See ya.